Lady, go! Hello everyone, Lace Empress here, where spirituality is our fashion statement. So today we are going to get into our Capricorn love reading. And this is from the perspective of your person. We're going to do a little different. We're going to pull some um, healing for the soul messages for the person. We're going to start off with the oracle and see how this applies to their love life and what's currently going on with them um as it pertains to the connection that they have with you okay so let's get three messages and we'll build from there all right subscribers thank you guys so much i really appreciate you guys subscribing to the channel and to those of you that are new please do not forget to like share and subscribe before you leave okay let's get the messages here what's going on with your person Capricorn what's going on what's going on okay now we got the three messages uh oh okay so we got the crown chakra first message strongest message first oracle crown chakra spiritual insight wisdom use wisdom gain through lessons learned this is really good so your person is definitely taking their life lessons and trying to apply them in their current life right now so they are it seems as if they're working on themselves a little bit more like they're trying to not make the same mistake twice which is really good. They're not making the same mistake twice. They don't want to go back down the road of um, of having to learn these karmic lessons again in life. And even in love. Since we're talking about love, we can stick with that. But I kind of feel like it's all, it's all around. They don't want to go through these same karmic lessons. Not to say that everyone's perfect. You know, we all go through lessons more than once until we get it through our skulls. And sometimes it takes... Uh, some of us longer than others. So, Cap, your person is working on um, having the wisdom stick. You feel what I'm saying when I say that? They're working on making sure that they dot their I's and cross their T's when it comes to their lessons. So, they can move forward. So, they can end cycles. Oh, what I just say? Ending old cycles. The coffin. <laughs> <laughs> the coffin okay they trying to end them old cycles they don't want to go through that same bug bug crap again i said i'm trying to stop cursing they don't want to go through that same bull crap again okay um either definitely in love they want to do this differently with you capricorn they don't want to keep um the same old things going and obviously they know that those things did not work so they want to try it a new way this says, forgive yourself. Therefore, there is no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. Romans 8 and 1. Forgive yourself. So this person is working on um, making sure that they are not putting too much stress on. Why did I do this? And I know better than that. And they're not trying to be, they are working on not being too hard on themselves. Okay. So they are learning to forgive themselves for things that they did in the past that may have caused hurt to you, um, that may have caused hurt to others. So now they're learning that forgiveness is something that they definitely have to do in order to move past the situation. Because if they continue to stay in the state of blame or stay in the state of of shoulda coulda woulda us um then they cannot move forward they cannot end the cycle they cannot end the cycle that they're trying to end so this is a part of the process with them using their wisdom using their wisdom from their lessons that they learned a part of that wisdom that they have gained is learning to forgive themselves not saying that oh well it happened no forgiveness is complete healing healing from that trauma that they may have caused themselves or they may have caused on other people and especially in love capricorn they know they may have did something to you that may have caused you to step back from them i kind of feel that energy um as well that may have caused you to um just take a step back from this person so now they are like okay it happened i learned from it i'm going to apply it in a better way uh, so let me forgive myself so that I can call in and manifest new energy so that I can move forward in my life. 
with message okay with this um card there is something they want to tell you they got some all up in their throat chakra that they want to say to you, Capricorn. Because with them forgiving themselves, they may even ask you for forgiveness. They they may want to um, have an apology. I feel apology energy here. They may want to apologize to you for something that came across shady or something that they did that was... Um, I keep hearing disrespectful. I didn't want to say that, but... We, in relationships, we do have a thin line that crosses disrespect when we care for someone. So I kind of feel like they, this may have, um, you may have looked at what they did to you as disrespectful. Um, so I kind of feel like this person is going to reach out to you. Okay. You, you may not be in communication with this person. So I feel like this person is going to reach out to you and it's going to be a, um, a very gentle way of speaking. It's not going to be harsh. It's not going to be, um, you know, like blaming you for what happened or what didn't happen. They're going to reach out and definitely want to talk about the things that may have happened in a relationship, how it happened and why it happened. And also um, definitely ask for your forgiveness through an apology. Okay. This is take a vacation. So this person wants to rekindle this. All right. They want to rekindle this connection and definitely do something nice for you. It doesn't necessarily have to be a vacation, but they want to do something nice for you. Oh, and we have the bad health here. So this right here could definitely be talking about um, they may not be in the best um, mental space. It doesn't necessarily physical physically mean um, physically mean like their physical health is bad. I kind of think this is mentally. They're trying to get their mental state together because they are noticing. Um, they, they may, they may need some time to themselves. That's why I say take a vacation. It doesn't necessarily mean, um, they may just want to get away and spend some time with you Capricorn so that they can clear their head. Maybe you bring a sort of peace into their life because you know, we have our partners and I think that you bring peace into this person's life. Yeah. Yeah. You bring some form of peace. So they just want to get away with just you and them get away and they want to relax and put their mind at ease because right now they have a lot of mental conflict going on and it could just be their own personal crap or it could be a lot of mental conflict within the relationship i feel like there's a lot of unresolved issues here that need to be looked at again so even though it's difficult for this person, but I feel like they're going to come out and tell you why they did X, Y, and Z or why they feel like X, Y, and Z happened or they reacted a certain way that caused this, this separation. I feel like you guys are definitely in a separation here, okay? Or even if you are still talking on and off, it's not the same love that you had before. So it almost as if this person is trying to get to a peaceful place to see if they can bring about some closure or resolution to this situation. Yeah, more of resolution than closure. Because I feel like when I say closure, like it's ending. I don't know if this person is completely ready to move past you or you're completely ready to move past them, Capricorn. But I feel like some type of resolution needs to be had like this. Um, needs to be revisited because it it's not um, this relationship is not there's some unfinished business as we say there's some unfinished business here that this person has come to the conclusion that they need to step up they need to take the lead on this they definitely need to take the lead on sending you this message so that you guys can talk up oh transformation this uh um i just did sagittarius they basically the first row they basically got these two cards it's just like these two go hand in hand well similar similar but they did get the coffin card and this is transformation this person is shedding old skin okay they like i'm a new person what's up capricorn i feel like this person is like look i'm not gonna do None of that stuff I did in the past, uh, I kind of feel like maybe cheating, lying, not being totally honest, maybe wearing a false mask about how much they love you, not showing their love efficiently. 
not showing their love efficiently and maybe not reciprocating the way that they know they could. Like, they wasn't giving 100%. So now that, like, look, I'm like a butterfly, baby. I'm finna shed that old stuff. I ain't finna bring that into my new life. So they are starting anew. They are learning from their past mistakes with the crown chakra here. They're taking those lessons and turning it into wisdom, which is, that's really good. Message. <laughs> so this person, while they are forgiving themselves, they're, like I told you, they want to come and ask you for an apology. But that's going to take a lot of courage. Let's see, you got the courage card here. A lot of strength. A lot of strength. You could be dealing with a uh, um, fire sign. Aerie Leo Satch, because you got this is just um made me think of that when I seen the courage card. But it's gonna take them a lot of courage. So Capricorn, um the reason that this reading was um when God gave me this type of reading, it was just so it can definitely um, give you some form of understanding of how this person thinks because you this may you we don't always understand like our partners or every aspect of what's going on we just kind of go with the flow and we kind of stick it out so I wanted to do something where I can give more insight on the the process of the mind so this is what this is for. This is a love reading, but this shows the process of the mind of how they how they work through their their love, how they show their love, how they maybe work through their love issues and how that affects the relationship between the two the two people. Okay? So with this person, they're definitely using all the courage that they have this is really hard for this person to ask for forgiveness and to apologize because maybe this person i kind of feel like this person definitely was more of a person of i'm always right or my way or the highway so now they realize that that don't work <laughs> the capricorn ain't going that's not working out so now they're like okay let me take a step back and figure out what i done done wrong so yeah maybe they like uh, it's time for an apology because um, they got out their body and now they're trying to bring it on back in, okay? Justice. Wow. Okay, so this person is trying to balance the scales of the relationship. They're trying to give you what you deserve, Capricorn, because they did not at first. So let's just be clear about that. They did not give you what you deserved from, from the beginning, they were difficult. I feel like this was a difficult partner for you. And they um, they were more about self, shall I say that. They were a little bit selfish in this relationship. And now they have taken a step back. And this is, you know, this is just, uh, this is one of those things where it's kind of like, man, I wish I shoulda, coulda, woulda. This is a shoulda, coulda, woulda situation with your partner. Now, this could be somebody you currently dealing with, or I kind of feel X vibes here too a little bit. The X files trying to come back and apologize for things they've done. But I don't think this is an X from way back when. I think this could be more like a current um, within the last year type of separation or breakup or just like an on and off situation that never... Um, went to the level that it could go to if um you guys were co if this person was cooperative with you i don't even want to say capricorn abuse cooperative with them i'm going to say if this person was cooperative with you this is what i kind of feel and this person is definitely trying to bring some justice to the situation so they can clear their head of this mental conflict that they have going on that's why they're saying let me do something nice for you let's take a vacation do something nice for you um, maybe give you a gift maybe take you to dinner um, so that they can discuss this with you yeah so they can discuss this with you. They're trying to balance the scales of their relationship so that they can clear their conscience and they can bring some resolution to the situation. Because Capricorn, I feel like you're confused. You're like, what's wrong with this person? They're crazy. I don't got time. I'm out. And that's exactly what you did, okay? You was like, I ain't got time. I'm out. And I'm done with this. And that's exactly what you did, okay? And now this person is definitely missing the Capricorn. 
they missing you. I miss you. I'm talking to my baby. I miss you. Okay. <laughs> this is what's going on here. Ooh, 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 ooh. <laughs> okay. So these are the messages that they that that's coming across that they want to say. So they have a lot of passion for this relationship. Even though they may have messed it up in the past and even though they I definitely feel like they made some mistakes when it comes to um treating you appropriately and also I feel the energy of um other energies like other partners that they may have been with just out of pure selfishness so this says passion and same chemistry like each other equally having fun i also pick up that you still care for this person too capricorn but you love yourself more and you're like if this person is going to treat me this way i got to move but this person is deaf they definitely have a lot of passion for you that i don't think that's ever going to change even if you decide not to be with this person i don't think that's going to change this person they have a lot of passion. And that's why that's why I keep saying fire sign, fire sign, fire sign. Um, I mean, you could be dealing with any sign, but I think um, a lot of you are dealing with fire signs, okay? So we have sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, <clears throat> perception, focusing out. So this person is definitely watching you. They haven't let you go. Oh, no. They haven't let you go. They trying to figure out a way to get back in. So they definitely haven't let you go. They they are definitely keeping an eye out on you. You might have mutual friends. Um, they may be asking about you, asking if you guys know each other's family. They may be asking your family about you. Uh, somebody close to you that has access to you. Because I don't feel like this person has direct access to you anymore. They may try, but they don't. Okay? And wedding rings under the justice. What did I tell you? They're trying to balance the scales because maybe you wanted to be married, Capricorn. Maybe you didn't want to be in a relationship that didn't involve a higher level of commitment. And they know this. And this says wedding rings, union, <clears throat> wedding, married, soul connection, eternal love, everlasting promise. So this person... Um, maybe if you decide to forgive them and you move forward, this person does want to talk about marriage. They want to talk about commitment with you in a long-term sense. They don't want to be, um, they don't want to be out here, um, alone anymore. They want to, they definitely want to marry you and that will be their way of providing justice to their relationship and and it's not just one-sided they don't want to provide justice to um make you happy capricorn now that they have grew and used their crown chakra and their they have opened up their heart more they realize that them being with you is providing themselves justice because they miss the love that you provide Okay, they miss the love that you provide, and now they want to give that same love that you taught. I kind of feel like you taught this person how to love too. They want to show and give some of that love back to you. Okay, they want to show and give some of that love back to you. Woo! <laughs> so, their energy towards you, or the overall energy of this love it's new love a new person has stirred your romantic feelings so from from this reading this applies in a big way because we have transformation so this person could come across like a new person like i don't know who this person is okay this person is coming across like Oh, wow, they changed. And this is what you're saying, Capricorn. Like, this person has really changed. They are a different person. That's why it's coming across like new love. And this could physically be a new love. Like, you could physically be saying that um, you want new love. And the things that this person is trying to give you, you want that in a new person. Okay, but this person is coming to you like, look, I'm that new love you looking for, but you may not see it that way because you have, they have hurt you in the past. And that's something that everybody heals in their own time. 
So because everyone heals in their own time, this person will have to be patient with you. Even If you even allow this person to be back around you, they will have to be patient with you to, in order to even, in order for you to even see them as a new person, they have to allow you time to heal, okay? That's, that's definitely what I see here. Because this new love, I don't feel is a new person. I feel this new love is the same person, but the person has shed, shed that skin. Okay, and it says, dog, close up. Uh, pleasure with a close friend. So this person definitely wants to be um, close to you again. It says, pleasure with a close friend. So they want to rebuild this connection. I keep seeing that. They want to rebuild this connection. But the first move that they want to do is to bring resolution to those old wounds and those old issues that are still left open ended. And maybe even answer any questions that you may have that you may have, Capricorn. It says fair man. Dealings with a relationship with a man with blind gray or white hair. So that's just a little small description of how this person may look. Let's see if we can get some more information for for this uh, connection. Any more information, spirit, for this connection? <clears throat> this says, elephant, a long journey, either physical or mental, will leave you wiser at the end. So this is definitely God coming through. I think this is speaking to your person as well as you, that you guys um, have went through a lot together. And with this crown chakra here, it's just confirmation that what you're going through when you come out of it is going to make you stronger. Okay? It's going to make you stronger. And that's definitely for your person. And the last one says, Eagle, triumph over troubles and obstacles. So I kind of feel like this is saying whichever way you go, if you decide to go with this person or if you decide not to go with this person, this is definitely still, you still will have victory in your love life. But if you decide to stick it out, it's, it's not, this is not an easy love. Okay? Let's put it that way. This is not an easy love. This is not going to be a love where, you know, it's peaches and cream every other day and nothing's going to, um, everything's going to be, you know, A, B, C, one, two, three, easy. This is, this is maybe a love that you will have to fight for if you want this to work. And this is a love that your person will definitely have to fight for because it seems as if they're the ones that came across and messed this up. Okay. So, if you decide to stay with this person, that's that. Now, I ask, um, and we have helpful people here for some advice. So, for some advice, it's saying, get advice from others. Um, definitely talk to God about it. Definitely, this, this person is doing the same thing. So, you guys are kind of mirroring each other when it comes to what to do from this point of their relationship. So, in fact, they are talking to other people. They are trying to gain knowledge about how to come to you and how to rekindle this connection. Capricorn, you talking to other people and trying to figure out if you should allow this person back in your life. That would be your decision based on based on the trauma that you went through in the past with this person. Now, I don't want to say trauma like, oh, it's never ending, but you know what I mean. Okay. And one last message from their heart to yours to end this off. Friendship. Mm -hmm. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. Wow. Nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will improve. What did I just say? Um, where did that go? Here we go right here. It says, dog close up, pleasure with a close friend. So I said, this needs rebuilding. So this person wants to start from square one. They want to be your friend first. And then as that grows, they want to come back as your lover. So that's why it's saying new love. Because this person wants to start over completely and show you how they have grown and transformed. That they can be that loyal, kind-hearted person that you need them to be.
if you allow them a chance at friendship and then allow it to grow. And they definitely want this to, um, they definitely want this, I was going to say end, but ending is not the appropriate word. They definitely want this to transition into a cycle of marriage with the wedding rings here. They want this to transition into a cycle of marriage and have that forever soul connection with you. Like it says, eternal love. Okay, Capricorn. So this has been your April love reading. Thank you guys for stopping by. And until next time, let intuition be your guide.